We thought the war, at last, was ended. Our days of peace begin. We thought our joys would be unending. We thought our light would never dim. The skies are strange. You just hear Galadriel, the moment we feared. What homework did the showrunners give you to do to prepare, to prepare your character? Um, they didn't give us anything specific. They kind of just let us go off on our own, do whatever we kind of fancy. So some people kind of read loads. Some people talked loads to loads of the crew that had worked on the films. Some people watched the films. Um, and there was a lot of discussion between cast. You know, what's an elf? What's a half foot? How do they move? How do they eat? How often do they eat? What do they enjoy? Um, yeah, we all just became obsessed. Fight with me. Each of us must decide who we shall be. I was watching the first two episodes and I think the most challenging scene for you is the swimming scenes. Uh, was that, is that the, the most challenging scene for you in season one? Yes. Um, so I was a very weak swimmer um, when I started filming this job and I had an amazing teacher um, called Trent Bray, who'd actually represented New Zealand at the Olympics and had to teach me, a terrible swimmer, how to do it. It was wonderful to kind of see an elf swimming as well, to explore that. Like, I'm a big fan of Lord of the Rings, so um, every time I found out that we'd be seeing a different context for these creatures that we know, I was really excited to get into it. Do you get to keep your elf ears? Unfortunately not. No. Mm -hmm. I don't. Maybe next it season I'll be able to nab some. Is, is, uh, are there any other props you're eyeing when, when, if, when the season is, when the whole show is over? So many. I think my favorite is the dagger that I have, which is Gladriel's brother Finrod's dagger, who has died. Um, and it is the hilt of this dagger is the two trees in Valinor woven into each other. Um, so I'd like to grab that if I could. Your character is played by Kate Blanchett in the movies. Has she reached out to you or have you reached out to her? Um, no. She hasn't reached out to me, and I wouldn't be brave enough to reach out to her. And I think if she reached out to me, I'd probably, probably pass out. Um, I'm such a fan of her, and to even kind of, I still can't believe that my name's being mentioned in the same sentence as Kate Blanchett. Um, yeah, a legend. You know, Lord of the Rings may be a fantasy show uh, story, but what do you think it has to say about a modern world? Um, I think something I love about Tolkien's work is that. I feel it's less good versus evil and more about hope over despair and, you know, making sure you nurture your hope, um, which I think is something that's really important for me anyway to remember. Um, I also love um, the value he puts on friendship and small acts of kindness. Um, something I've always loved from the books is the way that Faramir is so kind to the hobbits and it's those small moments of kindness that make such a difference to the world. Eventually, one or the other must surely break. You have been told many lies of Middle Earth. 